Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and uh, what I have is an old computer. It actually has a zip drive, so it's pretty old. It has a CD player, and you know, my mom was just getting rid of it, and I figured I'd take it to pull the power supply out of it. Um, you can use that for 5 volt DC power or 12 volt DC, and I think there's even a 3 volt DC. So what I'm going to do is uh, loosen up these screws and get in there to the power supply. We're going to pull that out and we're going to try and uh, power up a radio from a car. So I loosened everything up and it looks like this panel is going to slip off from the looks of things. You can see the power supply right here so this is mainly what we're after I think I'll pull out the CD player as well I might be able to use that for my radio so I did a little deconstruction and here's what I found the main computer boards here looks like there's a heat sink and uh, a little fan here so I'll pull that out use that for another project and little battery here that might work a three volt and here's our power supply it has a fan with it which is nice and um, it looks like the power supply runs up power up to the CD player so I'm going to try and keep that along with the power supply the power supply surprisingly is riveted in place so the only way to get it out of there is to break the rivets so I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. The rivets look to be aluminum, so I'm going to try and hit them with a the chisel. Oh, pretty good. And that's going to work. So with a little bit of unplugging, cutting some wire ties, you can see I got the power supply out and it has a 20 wire lead. And I, I've done this before and I know you can look up on the internet um, what all the wires do. You just look up the 20 wire lead. Um, but I, I do remember the black wires to be ground and the yellow wires to be 12 volt. So if you work with your grounds and your 12 volt, you should have your power. I think, I think you need to ground together, tie together two other wires. Um, I can't remember why. Uh, I might have to look that up on the internet and get back to you. But anyhow, this thing is now free. And if you look coming out the back of the power supply, this lead here is going to the... Uh, CD player. So I'm going to try and get the uh, CD player out of here. Apparently there's some screws down there holding it in. Here's a look at the bottom of the power supply. It's actually a Best Tech power supply and if we look it'll tell you the voltage of the wires. So the reds are 5, yellows are 12, so that's what I want to deal with. Blues are negative 12. You see there's positive and negatives and it's all DC power. So that's pretty cool that it actually tells you what they are. Um, the other way to do it is to uh, go onto the internet and try and print out a pinout is what it's called. And uh, <clears throat> you, can, you can get that and figure out um, you know, what everything is through the internet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and power up the power supply. So luckily I was smart enough to take the cord when I grabbed the CPU from my mom's house. So I have that and uh, we're just going to plug this thing in. There's all, you know, wire connectors so I don't have to worry about anything turning on or shorting out. Um, as you can see, the, the fan is not turning, nothing's happening. So this power supply needs to be switched on before it'll power up. So usually when you turn on a computer, you hit the power button on the CPU. Well, now that this thing's unplugged, I don't have the power button. 
So right now you're looking at my computer screen. You can see there's a 24 pin uh, printout and there's also a 20 pin printout. So we're dealing with the 20 pin which is actually the older. And according to this thing that green wire is power supply on. So what we should do is I guess we're going to ground that to uh, one of the common wires or ground wires. So any of the black wires are ground so we're just going to go from green to ground and that should power up the power supply. So this is my 20 pin connector and that's the one you want to work with either your 20 pin or your 24 pin and on here you can clearly see there's a green wire and the green wires the one two three fourth one down I'm gonna put our jumper wire in there and I'm just gonna look for a black wire it looks like the third one down here is the black wire All right, that should be good. I'm just going to double check that's plugged in right. It's hard to see on camera. All right, I double checked it. It looks good. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, just plug in the power supply. And um, I'm going to take the other end of the cord and just plug that in at the bench. And I think our fan should start. There we go. I don't know if you saw it, but our fan just turned on. Yeah, it's really quiet, but uh, it's it's on and it's spinning. Um, I'm looking for an LED. Nothing lights up on here. But, yeah, we have power, so that's good. Um, the next thing that I want to try and do is just connect this uh, CD player. So, I'm going to power this thing down and one of these plugs goes right into it so the CD player is uh, plugged in now so we'll power up and it looks like our I don't know the LED on here blinked a couple times um, Jack. alright yeah so we got power um, I think I, yeah. I'm going to get a uh, CD. So, looks like a uh, little Bob Marley. So, we're putting that in there. And it looks like it's uh, queuing up. I hear something, I think that's the. Uh, it's just the uh, CD player running now. Um, here we go. There's a. Uh, I have speakers, which are here. I don't hear anything from the speakers. Hang on. Oh yeah, there's a play button there. I hear it. It's just very quiet. So, hopefully you can hear that. So that, that's playing. And I wonder if the back of this thing has any outputs. Well, it all has something on the back. So, uh, yeah, I'm wondering, I'm plugged into like the headphone jack. So I bet you if I tie into the back, we can make those speakers louder. So I'm going to try and find the wire connector from the computer, like this white thing that went in the back here. Alrighty, guys. Um, I experimented around a little bit with the digital output. I uh, found a wire from the computer that plugs in in the back here. And uh, 
apparently need the computer board to power up the uh, amplifier to run the speakers so I think the best bet if I'm going to use a CD player um, would be to come out here and then run into the back and use this output into the auxiliary of uh, like a stereo or something um, just like you plug in an iPad or something or an iPod into your car radio so um, I don't have a working car radio here I need to get uh, you know like the the radio itself and then I could power it off a 120 volt circuit using this power supply so what I would have to do at this point um, I'd like to show you but I don't have the radio would be wire nut together the green wire and one black wire take all the yellow wires coming out of here and put them all together and that's going to be our 12 volts and take all the black wires and put those together that's going to be our ground and then tie those onto the uh, radio now usually most car radios come with a CD player so uh, you know I most likely won't be using this but uh, I'm just kind of playing around a little bit on the bench. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned a thing or two. Um, I did this once before. Um, I put a radio outdoors by my pool for in the summer. And I, I ordered a boat radio online. And it's the same as like a car radio, but it's supposed to be a little more water resistant. So I ordered that and uh, I run a power supply from a computer to power it and it really gets nice and loud and works very well, very clear. Um, the only issue with it is that you need to get an antenna in order to get radio stations. So just like the antenna on your car, you need one of those antennas and uh, I hooked up an antenna to it. and. Uh, it really works quite well. I'm really pleased with it and uh, I've only had it running for about four and a half months I would say but uh, it, it was flawless in all the rain and everything and at the end of the year I just turn off the power supply and should be good to go for next year. So anyhow uh, if you're interested in that video you can search my channel and look for pool radio and I'll probably make a follow-up with this video when I find a, a radio that I can run in my garage. So, I'm Double Wide 6, and I have a whole bunch of repair videos, anything from small engine, plumbing, electronics, all that good stuff. So, check out my channel, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.